Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneNug.com. Just got the new Samsung Vibrant for T-Mobile. Let's unbox it. And the Galaxy S Invasion continues. First we had the, uh, the Unlocked S. And then we had the Captivate for AT&T. And now we're on to Vibrant. And I, for some reason, I, keep, I have that, uh, that Q-tip song, Vibrant thing run through my head ever since Vibrant shut up. Anyway, T-Mobile, Samsung, Vibrant, Galaxy S phone. First, $199.99 with a two-year contract after rebate from T-Mobile. And uh, here it is, just got the demo. Thank you to the kids at, uh, they're not kids, they're grown-ups. Thank you to the grown men and women at T-Mobile for loaning us this device. Here it is in the flesh. Uh, this one looks a lot more like the unlocked uh, looks a lot more like the unlocked Galaxy S than the uh, the Captivate. The Captivate for AT&T, AT&T kind of went with their own styling cues on that one, mixed it up a little bit. But you can see on this one, uh, very similar to the, the unlocked Galaxy S. Uh, we'll get back to that in a second. In the box, you also get a micro SD to SD card adapter. A uh, stereo headset, three and a half millimeter headphones, headphone jack with your uh, inline microphone remote control, uh, charger, USB to micro USB cable, and a prepaid envelope to recycle your own your old phone. Do it. Uh, take that old phone if you can give it to somebody who can use it. Awesome. If not, recycle it. Don't just throw it in the garbage where it all winds up in the landfill. Send it back so it can be disposed of properly. Uh, also with the phone, the SGH T959 Vibrant, you get uh, a second back plate. So what does the first back plate look like? Oh, look at that. I don't know what they're officially called, but I've decided that these are called Midnight Blue and 2AM Purple. But I don't know what they're really called. So you get your choice of back plates there. Awesome. <laughs> it is kind of fun, you know. It's like you get a, an extra piece of plastic, you pay 200 bucks and sign up for, uh, you know, whatever it is, $70 a month plus for two years. So you're really committing to, I don't know, quick math, like, you know, $1,600 worth of, uh, of paying. And you get an extra piece of plastic, and it's still awesome. That's what's great about consumerism. Anyway, here's the phone. Uh, it is a Galaxy S phone. It runs Android, Android 2.1. It ships with 4-inch Super AMOLED display, capacitive multi-touch. Uh, you've got the Samsung slightly customized UI there with the uh, apps dock on the bottom, and then your seven home screens. Uh, some T-Mobile custom content we'll get to in a second. Of course, the phone is 3G. Uh, also does Wi-Fi on the bottom. You've got four. So here's the difference between the, the Vibrant and the uh, original. On the original, you've got a menu button, a back button, and then a home button. These are capacitive touch buttons, and then the uh, home button is actually a push button. On the, the Vibrant for T-Mobile, you've got the standard Android setup, four touch controls, menu, home, back, and search. Uh, I've got a proximity sensor up top there. Flip it over, 5 megapixel camera with uh, HD video capture. You've got your lock power switch on the right side. On the top, 3.5mm uh, millimeter headphone jack. Your sliding cover over the micro USB port. And then on the right, rocker switch. Uh, it retains the kind of, you know, lightweight, somewhat plasticky feel of the Galaxy S. Um, we'll do a, a, a Compero, if you will with the uh, Captivate. So here's the Captivate for AT&T, and uh, the battery may be run out on this one. I, uh, I suppose I could have planned. Fail to, fi fail to plan, plan to fail, as my high school social, or my middle school social studies teacher always used to say. High school? Maybe it was a high school. I don't know. Anyway, uh, but you look at the Captivate for AT&T next to the Vibrant for T-Mobile. You know, they're both Galaxy S phones, uh, same screen, same software, all that kind of stuff, but, you know, different design cues for sure. Um, and uh, the back, you know, even more noticeably different, this uh, composite material battery cover on the Captivate. Um, but let's go back home here. But, you know, uh, otherwise, you know, the, the software similar, uh, et cetera, et cetera, just kind of showing you the difference. 
the uh, Captivate a little bit heavier feeling than the Vibrant. I'll have to get the actual specs on the Vibrant. We'll put them in the video, of course, during editing, during post-production. I'll have my intern do it. Yeah, right. I wish I had an intern. Anyway, uh, T-Mobile also loaded up the, uh, the Vibrant with, uh, you've got Avatar there. So you've got the movie. You can watch Avatar 5.1 stereo. I mean, this is going to look really nice, I would assume. So you can go, you know, it is, uh, it is widescreen there. We'll zoom ahead. Got the whole movie. Look at that, the whole Avatar movie. I haven't actually seen Avatar, so I could watch Avatar now. It does have kind of a nice, it's not 3D, but it's got a nice effect. That screen looks fantastic. I mean, that looks really, really great. Nice job, T-Mobile, putting Avatar on here so somebody like me would show it and say something like, wow, that screen looks great. But it really does. The Super AMOLED technology, very nice. Um, you know, rivaling uh, Apple's new super high-res display on the iPhone 4, if not exceeding it. Um, you know, 4-inch WVGA, uh, so it's a little lower res, a little lower pixel density than the iPhone 4's display, but just really looks spectacular. Uh, Moba TV, Sims 3, the uh, Amazon Kindle app, also on the phone. Uh, so there you go. This is just an unboxing. We'll do much more on this device, obviously. We've got uh, a week with it before it hits the market. But uh, there you go. First look at the first Galaxy S phone for T-Mobile, or you know the only one right now. Who knows if Galaxy S will turn into a whole, uh, a whole lifestyle there. Uh, I'll load up the web in the meantime. Oh, the web to go. The uh, T-Mobile web to go there. Let's see what's going on on uh, on ESPN right now. Although I think that's probably going to take me to the mobile site, which I don't really want to see. I'm in Edge right now. My office. It's ironic that I cover cell phones for a living, and the reception in my office is always sketchy on all the networks. But uh, there's team, there's uh, ESPN Mobile loading up real quick. Uh, you can't pinch and zoom on the mobile site because it is mobile. So while this is... Uh, oh, swipe pre-installed. See, look, this is what always happens. I'm going to wrap up the video, and then I'm like, oh, let's just do one more thing. And then, um, you know, then all of a sudden we're, uh, we're showing things we didn't even know existed. So there's some Skype, some uh, swipe technology for you, for your typing. Uh, haptic feedback going on. We'll let up phone dog with the haptic feedback going. We'll let it load up. Uh, in the meantime, again, who knows if Galaxy S is going to turn into a, a whole line of stuff for uh, for Samsung or what's going to happen. We do know the Epic Pro 4G coming out for uh, for Sprint is going to be a Galaxy S phone with a slide out keyboard. So that'll be a little bit different. But uh, in the meantime, the Vibrant Galaxy S for T-Mobile, again, it launches, or, or it's available, it's launched, but it'll ship July 21st, $199.99 on contract after rebate, and, uh, oh, the screen timed out. So we'll have a lot more for you. We'll have to do a Galaxy S dogfight between all four phones, or I don't know, maybe we won't, maybe that's silly. But uh, we'll have more for you. There's the pinch and zoom, very smooth. Yeah, no, this is a this is a hot phone for sure. Uh, like I, I said this a while ago, four inch, the four inch display might be the sweet spot because you compare it to you know a smaller display, Droid Incredible three point seven, uh, very similar in in overall size, but you get more you know it's just bigger on the uh, the four inch, and then you compare it to something like uh, you know a four point three inch phone like the Droid X, and to me, this is where, you know, I think maybe the Droid X, Droid X for some people is, is not quite so pocketable and portable, same with the Evo 4G, but the 4-inch phone, the, uh, the Galaxy S line here, the vibrant 4-inch display, you know, might just strike that balance between big display, you know, lots of room on the screen, and still very, very pocketable. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to play around with it and see, but I'm liking the Galaxy S so far, and, uh, you know, psych now to have two of them in the house to uh, put them through their paces. So much, much more on phonedog.com and, of course, droiddog.com, John Walton's fabulous Android-only site where you can go further in depth. Uh, but for now, I'm going to get back to testing. It's the Vibrant from Samsung, T-Mobile. Thanks to the folks at Samsung for sending this one out, loaning it to us. My name's Noah. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>